5.9 Cloud Security is a unified security and compliance solution designed for Hyper-V. Now, Hyper-V users of all size can have the industry's leading security and compliance solution without needing to be a security specialist. With an agentless design and the fastest scans in the industry, you will never have to worry about Hyper-V security again. 5.9 Cloud Security also has free add-ons with the Azure Pack extension as the only security as a service solution for Azure Pack and the System Center Virtual Machine Manager plugin that provides centralized security and management through System Center. The way 5.9 Cloud Security works is actually providing protection before a threat even arrives at the virtual machine. If you think about the path that any type of security vulnerability is going to go through as it attacks your virtual machine, it has to travel through the Hyper-V host, through the virtual switch before it arrives at the actual VM itself. And it's at the virtual switch level where 5.9 Cloud Security provides its protection. This is done through Hyper-V's extensible switch, which allows third-party vendors like 5.9 to go and plug in their own filtering extensions. This is done at the kernel mode, so this means that we can inspect the packets and allow them to go through if they're safe, or we can block them if we decide that they have any type of vulnerability associated with them. Here we see 5.9 Cloud Security. The first thing you'll notice are the global rules in the left navigation pane. This allows us to go and pre-configure all different types of policies and make sure that they can get automatically and immediately applied. Next you'll see 5.9's templates. And templates are essentially different policies that you can configure in a single location and have them apply globally to different rules. Next, we have a concept of tenants, which allows us to organize different users by different resources that they have permission to access. Finally, you'll see the navigation pane that shows you all of the different virtual machines which are currently being protected, as well as the overall state of them, which VMs are healthy and which VMs are infected. I may need some type of remediation action associated with them. You can improve your security and compliance with a unified solution designed for Hyper-V. 5.9 Cloud Security provides multi-layered security with integrated virtual firewall, agentless antivirus and malware protection, along with an intrusion detection system all in a single package. 5.9 is designed to specifically address every Hyper-V security vulnerability using pattern pending technologies eliminating the need to install additional expensive and resource-consuming security software. The centralized management console simplifies administration of security tasks and provides auditing capabilities for compliance. You can now get the protection you require without needing to be a security specialist. Let's take a look at the different layers of antivirus protection offered by 5.9. The first thing that we do is we intercept the network packet and inspect it through the firewall. If it's allowed to pass, we're then going to go and scan the payload associated with the packet as it travels through the network, making sure that that path is clean with one of three different antivirus engines. Once the data gets written to the disk, we'll also scan it there, making sure that viruses that weren't previously detected during the network scans are now still analyzed and that your entire storage infrastructure stays protected. Over time, we'll continue to look at your network traffic and build up patterns using Cisco Snort, trying to find different type of intrusion detection. We'll also build our own baselines, looking at your normal traffic patterns in the data center so that we can flag anomalies when they occur. And finally, 5.9 Cloud Security is extensible, allowing you to hook into different third-party analytics and analysis systems. The first layer of security is done through the virtual firewall. Since we provide protection before the threat even arrives at the VM by taking a look at the packet headers, we could go and actually provide protection without ever having to install anything inside the VM itself. This means that you can have a single solution for firewall that supports Windows Server, Windows Client, and all the different Linux and Unix distributions supported by Hyper-V. Here I've selected one of the virtual machines running on my nodes. I select the firewall tab, and here I can see that I have several rules that have already been allowed. If I want to go and add a new rule, relatively simple. Just select the box, provide name, description, whether it's allow a block, whether it's inbound or outbound, and then some advanced settings such as the frame size. You could either go and configure what type of packet type or VLAN ID is coming through, and even specify what time the security policy is allowed to run during. 
you have the ability to go and edit all of these different rules as well. You can even apply a template. So you could take one of your existing templates that you've pre-created and go and actually apply it to a different VM, ensuring that you get standardized and consistency. Finally, you can select the VM settings themselves and down here, actually delegate the amount of time that you want to keep track of all of your different firewall logs and firewall rules, providing you with a great, easy to use firewall that's going to be applicable to every Hyper-V virtual machine in your environment. The second layer of security involves antivirus detection on the network. We have the ability to actually protect every virtual network, not just the ones that actually connect between two physical hosts that you find in traditional network security appliances. This means that we can actually inspect not just the traffic going to the VMs, but also traffic going from one VM to another VM through private networks, so you get to avoid blind spots. Furthermore, what we're able to do is actually mirror the network traffic and do a live scan on it so that we can actually do real-time matching of antivirus signatures to alert you as soon as any type of threat arrives at your data center. 5.9 Cloud Security will allow you to maximize your performance with the fastest and least disruptive scans in the industry. This is the only security solution optimized for Hyper-V, so this really does mean that you can maximize your performance by locally analyzing and securing your network traffic without routing it through external appliances. Additionally, 5.9 leverages the industry's fastest scanning technology to detect malicious files without causing antivirus storms or performance bottlenecks. This allows you to run more VMs on each host. This means that now you can spend less money on hardware and increase your VM density by up to 30%. As we continue to look at the different layers of the security solution, we have the ability to do antivirus scans on disk, which are the fastest in the industry. The way we handle this is we keep track of the blocks of data which have actually been changed through a mechanism known as change block tracking. This means that we don't have to go and scan the entire disk every single time a security scan is run, but using our patent pending technology, we can simply go and scan the pieces and the files of the disk which have actually changed, allowing you to have a security solution that's optimized for these high changing, dynamic, virtualized environments. The fourth layer of security is for network intrusion detection using Cisco Snort as our intrusion detection system. Over time, we're going to go and log all of your inbound and internal network traffic. We're going to start to scan those logs, and if we detect anomalies, such as a particular endpoint's getting too much traffic that could indicate a denial of service attack, we're going to go and alert you of this problem so that you can remediate it as soon as possible. Our fifth layer of security involves network anomaly analysis. Similar to how we're logging all of the network traffic for intrusion detection, we're going to build up a baseline of your normal traffic pattern over time for your particular data center, your servers, based on different times of day. Now, if we notice unusual spikes in that, such as particular endpoints or protocols are being used in an unusual way, we're going to go and alert you so that you can try to remediate the security threat as soon as possible. Our sixth layer of protection also go and extends these logs that you're already collecting and pushes them to other third-party analytics systems, including things such as Splunk, Azure Operational Insights, and SQL reporting services. So long as your third-party analytics system can read the industry standard syslog format, you can go and take this information collected by 5.9 Cloud Security and get even more insight into your data center security operations. Here I've navigated to the intrusion detection tab. I've loaded the log, and as I select any of these possible intrusion detection threats, I get some detailed information telling me about the source of the attempt and more information about it. In this case, it looks like I had some malware running in the environment using MS Blast. Fortunately, through IDS, we were able to find that this problem existed, so we can alert the administrator and immediate it. As we go and take a look at some of our settings, we can see that we have the convenient email notification setting that allows us to alert based on any other type of security events in the environment. We'll scan it to different intervals, we configure our SMTP server, and we can specify who the email gets sent to. This means that as soon as any type of threat appears in the environment, you can quickly remediate it and run a healthy data center once again. 5.9 Cloud Security is also able to automate protection for your virtual machines, networks, and storage. This will allow you to guarantee higher levels of business continuity and reliability with features that will let you automatically and immediately protect every virtual machine. 
Using a variety of built-in automation tools, you can easily script custom security policies using PowerShell or other tools to protect your virtual infrastructure and software-defined networks. Now you can save time as you free up your valuable operating resources, increase performance, and reduce the risk of misconfigured security policies. Here we can see a concept on the left known as templates. And what templates do will allow us to pre-configure different types of settings so that new virtual machines can have these different settings automatically applied. If we go into them, we can see all different types of information about how these rules are configured. We get advanced settings as well, which will allow us to have different types of policies based on time of day or to make sure that only specific IP addresses are allowed to go and be mapped to that particular service or virtual machine. Using things such as templates, automated policies, and PowerShell, you can get a high level of automation for your data center. 5.9 Cloud Security also enables you to hide security from your virtual machines and your users with agentless protection. This means that administrators no longer need to be trusted with access to every virtual machine to manage security, which enables private, multi-tenant environments and isolation. Since no security component is required to run inside the VM, the user never sees it, never has to update it, never has to manage it, and can never disable it. With 5.9 Cloud Security's unique agentless design, your users will never even notice that they are being protected. Agentless protection significantly enhances management for VDI as well as service and hosting providers. With VDI, the client virtual machines don't need any security components running in them, so people never get lazy about managing them, and you can ensure and guarantee that you have security for all of your VDI clients. For hosting and service providers, the fact that the administrator does not need access to the virtual machine helps them with their compliance and regulation policies, really ensuring that you can get genuine isolation and protection so that the administrator never has access to the tenant's virtual machine and cannot run it and execute scripts in there either. As we select the antivirus tab for one of our virtual machines, we can see that we have several jobs that have automatically been assigned and run. However, we do notice down here that these have actually identified all different types of threats as they've been executed and taken those virtual machines and placed them into a quarantine state. We can also select and pre-schedule antivirus jobs to make sure that they run at a specific time at a specific schedule. We can also view the status of our live real-time protection and whether we need to do anything to actually clean and remediate any of our different threats in the environment. 5.9 Cloud Security is the only solution specifically designed to protect Hyper-V. It could be seamlessly integrated into your existing virtualized Windows Server infrastructure, effortlessly extending your protection to System Center and Azure Pack. 5.9's Microsoft certified and patent pending technologies have been trusted by thousands of users worldwide to provide security, management, and performance optimizations that no one in the industry can match. Here we can see the integrated 5.9 Cloud Security module right within System Center Virtual Machine Manager, giving you a single centralized interface to manage all of your different virtualized resources. This can be extended through self-service to Windows Azure Pack, allowing you to go and manage all of your different cloud security policies and enable self-service for end users and tenants that may want additional control and monitoring over their own virtualization giving them one-click access to turn on and off the different security features, such as intrusion detection and virtual firewalls. Administrators can easily configure templates that customers want to go and reuse and apply multiple times. And additionally, administrators can go and configure different types of email notifications if any of their tenants becomes infected as well, to make sure that they can provide the best levels of service availability possible. The core security engine can run on a standalone host or inside a virtual machine, and it stores all of its data in a database, which could be SQL or any other third-party database that supports syslog. There are several different management interfaces that allow you to connect to the security system, including the console, PowerShell, Azure Pack, and System Center VMM. Once the core configuration is running, you add the different hosts, clusters, and virtual machines which you want to protect. As you need to scale up for availability, you can place your management servers in redundant groups. Your database can support availability features as well if it's running an enterprise version or above of SQL Server. 
You can also support large enterprises with multiple data centers by having isolated security services running in each of them. Once the data centers reconnect, they'll resync their security policies and logs to ensure that you have standardization no matter how large your enterprise is. For more information about 5.9 Cloud Security, visit www.59.com/security or email sales at 59.com. Thank you.